Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, so what is this channel for? It's like a uh, escape route for me uh, because I'm doing a PhD. So in my PhD life, how I uh, instead of being stuck in that regular mechanized uh, research, work, experiments and all this sort of stuff. It's like an escape route for me to connect with you guys. Your extension of your contract, it's the same for everyone but for me or for us as non-Europeans, uh, you also need, they also apply your work permit because you are an employee. So that also gets extended after your contract gets extended. So that is also essential. Otherwise, you cannot stay in Netherlands uh, without a valid reason or valid work permit. So now you see around my office one of or doubles, it's after lunch and it's a really good exercise and refresh our minds before we again start working after lunch. Use in a paper, uh, like how do you define certain terms and how, are you consistent or not? So that matters a lot. Like on the concrete case, I mean, if we yeah. do coding that you grab some stuff from Postnet, uh, you grab uh, probably some events from Eclipse or yeah, 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 yeah. experiment. That is how you frame your research question, which is for your week. No, no, this is week uh, eight. How to stop overthinking? when you are uh, doing a PhD. My weekly experiences is kind of an information bank. If you, if you know how to cook, then or maybe occasionally eating outside because eating outside is expensive uh, if you are a student. So that will help a lot. China is also famous for, for food, right? Mm, yes. The definition is very, very huge, not even broad, it's just huge. So they have to narrow down. The advantage that I have, I've got more time available. When you are a full-time PhD candidate, you only can uh, have almost four years for your PhD. Platform 5. Yeah. Okay, so you have to see around because in my back there is one and two and here you can see three and four and ahead of us is five and six so we have to go to five and six cooking some aubergine crisps uh, some shiitake stir fried shiitake mushrooms i think they're almost done and here there is salmon in the oven what uh, benefits and allowances you can get and there will be many more coming like living in netherlands study and cost of living and other things so check my Quora blog this is one faq there are like five or six more faqs which i'm going to fill in a video series so it will help like the current generation living in Netherlands and also the future coming generations who are coming to Netherlands. So if you like this video and if you it helps you, please uh, consider subscribing and sharing.